Hi, I'm Clarissa Thompson. I am one of the co-directors of IB. My other half is Polly Williams. This is not my first time at Farm and Wilderness or at IB. Many, many years ago in a galaxy far away, my very first, what felt like a real, real job um, was at IB. I came on as a dishwasher and as a cabin counselor, and I proceeded to stay for 10 years. It was the most fantastic experience that I've ever had probably, which is why I'm now back 30 years later. I um, worked on the waterfront. I taught swim lessons. I was a cabin counselor. I was a lodge head. I was senior lodge head for a number of years. I also spent some time working outside of IB. Um, I think I, you know, drove a lot of trips. I worked various things for the fair. I worked at Timberlake one summer for a little bit. Uh, I wore a lot of hats and it was just a really good experience. I think that it really um, shaped who I am, obviously, which sounds a little cliche, but it is kind of how camp is. Um, it shaped who I am, but it also really made me more... Um, clear on what I wanted to do in my life in the sense that I wanted to be working with people. I wanted to be working in settings where teaching and learning were happening. In my time as a college teacher, I have, you know, very similarly to how my time at F&W was, I've worn a lot of hats. Um, obviously, as a college professor, I teach classes. I work in an um, education program. I work preparing teachers. I do a lot of advising of students. This is college students right now. So I spent a lot of time away from farm and wilderness, living this whole other life. I've long wanted to get back to camp and somehow this window opened uh, this year and here I am back at camp um, from dishwasher to director. I'm really excited for, for Barnes and Gardens and Waterfront and um, getting to know campers and getting to see my former campers as grown-ups and their children as campers. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. Can I write in cursive? I actually ask my students a question about cursive because I am teaching right now people who want to be teachers and we look at their own careers as students and talking about cursive and being taught cursive brings up lots of really strong feelings. I feel like I have really messy handwriting and I'm always trying to make my handwriting neater, but my mind works faster than my hand. And so I'm trying to get all the words out and I write in some weird combination of cursive and not cursive. Um, and really what I try to do is make my writing legible and I fail. And my children often try to read my writing and they make so much fun of me and make up all these terrible misread sentences to point out how terrible my handwriting is, so. I will work on handwriting this summer. What's the most unusual place I've fallen asleep? Oh, I have a really good answer for this one. I am sure that many of you are familiar with Stephen King, who's a famous horror writer from Maine. Stephen King came to talk. I fell asleep at the Stephen King talk. I was, I guess I must've been tired or he was boring, I don't know. But I basically fell asleep on the wooden church bench while Stephen King was reading from whatever his latest book was at the time. Oh, if you could be any flavor of ice cream, what would you be? Salted caramel, something kind of simple, but classy. Salted caramel. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? Well, I'll tell you what I'm nostalgic for now and how I act on it. Letter writing. I love letter writing. If you write me a letter, I will write you back. I have like resurrected letter writing in my little community. And when the pandemic started, I like posted on Facebook. I was like, anybody want a letter? I'll write letters. And all sorts of people wrote me, you know, their addresses. And I started writing letters. So I'm going to say that we will be nostalgic for letter writing because I think it is a art and a communicative form that has fallen by the wayside. And so this is also my encouragement. Parents, write to your kids while they're at camp and figure out how to start letter writing. I've got some kids, friends that are gonna be at Timberlake and I'm gonna do some inner camp mail between Timberlake and IB for the kids that I know at Timberlake. And I'm gonna to try to get um, campers who aren't sure how to write letters. You know, I'm gonna help them. I'm gonna help people figure out, you know, how do you write a letter? How do you make it fun? Um, you know, I'll play with that. And, and I welcome letters and I'll write letters back. I think it's super fun to get mail, um, old school mail, envelopes, stamps, you know, postmarks, um, things like that. Would you rather have five half-sized clones of yourself or one full-sized clone of yourself? Five, absolutely. This is the easiest question you've given me this whole time. I, because I like to wear multiple hats, that is a metaphor, 
Um, and I feel like I'm always juggling a number of different things. I think having five of me would be awesome. I could dispatch, even if they're smaller, small size, totally fine. So the little package, that's good. Dispatch the five of me to address all the different things. And um, yeah, better, much better to have multiple Clarissas, absolutely. And I'm guessing Polly would agree too, because I think having more of me around camp will make her life easier. And you know, she'll be like, oh yeah, five of Clarissa, that's awesome.